first official sighting. You remember Jack Grealish made his debut after his big money move uh, a year ago at Wembley in the Community Shield against Leicester. Erling Haaland. The family have said it's Haaland outside of Norway. It's Haaland in Norway. To get that clear at the start, I'm sure many of you will expect the opposite of what we say, but we're going with Haaland, Stuart, aren't we? Well, we have to today, as we are outside his native Norway. Craig Pawson, very much in his native England. And the players take the knee, which will be continuing this season as a, a message against all acts of racism, whether in a football stadium or without. And Rodri wins an early header, helped on by Bernardo Silva, slightly misjudged by Virgil van Dijk. Now Fabinho. Luis Diaz, supported by Andrew Robertson, such a, a familiar cast here, with one or two exceptions, of course, but even the likes of uh, Haaland are extremely well known, and they're new to the English scene, although not to England, where he was born. And here's Thiago winding up, when it was blocked by Rodri. Adrian has hardly featured over the last 12 months or so, for Liverpool, but Alisson's not that far away. They think he'll play in the opening league game against Fulham in a week's time. And Kevin Keller, who is the hero of the League Cup win against uh, Chelsea. The uh, start of the year and then the FA Cup win against the same opponents, same outcome. Alisson is no novice, that's for sure, but he asked a little bit more than Matic could manage then. Yeah, not a great throw-in. Not much on, really, for Matic when it went back to him. So Fabinho saying to Matic, he should have played it forward rather than going square to the goalkeeper. Here's Fabinho. Right, that caught the um, early interview with uh, James Milner saying how well Lewis Diaz settled in. He must think English, <laughs> English game is... Very straightforward. I'm sure he's going to have uh, a few bumps in his particular road, but it was a fine start. And I think it's helped Jurgen Klopp deal with the situation when Sadio Mane came in to see him and said, I, I want to move. And here's Salah, who's certainly moving in his distinctive style here. And here's Diaz. Luis Diaz blocked by Ruben Diaz. He's not frightened to go infield, Luis Diaz. It's a good break down that right-hand side from Mo Salah. Early cross from Henderson, not dealt with particularly well by Rodri. Yes, with the block. There is already an encouraging tempo to this. Well, we've had some very warm days in England. This hasn't been the warmest of those days. Here's De Bruyne trying to put the heat on Liverpool. Harold, of course, is uh, a very much a number nine. But uh, it's uh, not well on him because Salah's got the ball. Salah is in. And Salah hits the netting, but on the outside. But again, already three minutes and we're back in business here. Yeah, what a cross field pass this is. Manchester City trying to hold a high line. Cancelo, we've only been playing, as you mentioned, three minutes. Already he's been caught out on two or three occasions. Here he doesn't defend it in a 1v1 position against Salah. Tries to toe-poke it into that near post. Good start from Liverpool. Time for De Bruyne to turn the options. And certainly it's the kind of pass that Haaland can thrive on. Thiago interrupts. Just attempt to try and find the Norwegian. Liverpool's back line was all over the place there. Had he got that pass through, Haaland was cleaning through on goal. Alexander Arnold was playing everybody on side. The other three tried to step up. The Bruyne for once didn't quite find the right pass. It's over. And Haaland. Guardiola and Jurgen Klopp 
have a, a great rivalry. In fact, Klopp just shading it by ten wins to nine. They've seen plenty of each other over the time that they've been in England. Kevin De Bruyne, incidentally, is the only player left that Guardiola inherited when he came into uh, the Premier League. He signed uh, the likes of John Stones pretty soon after his arrival, but uh, De Bruyne was actually there at the Etihad and he took the job. A great turnover, I call it the circle of life. Incidentally, for Gabriel Jesus fans, if you haven't heard the news, he scored a hat-trick today for Arsenal in a pumping pre-season win over Sevilla. Rodri committing the foul here. Salah's nearly in again. He's as frisky as you would expect a man who's had his long-term future sorted out after a fair period of negotiation. Matic with the header. Silva still here. You mentioned Nathan Ake, who's talk about Bernardo Silva wanting to leave. Uh, Jordan Henderson. His say. So, of course, a long period of the uh, a month of uh, available transfers. So even be one or two changes from those who are on the team sheet here today before Salah Bobby Firmino Anderson outside Thiago it wasn't the best ball and Scott had to check Matic John Matip had a very good season last season. He chipped him with a few goals as well. And he's got uh, competition from Ibrahima Kanate, who has also made great strides and is now a full uh, international for France. And on the subject of internationals, of course, it's going to be a really hectic start to the domestic. Say, oh, a mistake nearly by Bernardo Silva. And then uh, the majority of these players will be off to the World Cup. Uh, first season ever. And, uh, the English game and there's been a mid-season break for a World Cup competition well, in the Cup semi-final FA Cup semi-final not that long ago Man City tried to play out from the back and got caught by Liverpool on several occasions oh, and he's scoring that goal when the goalkeeper dwelt on it far too long almost did exactly the same there with Bernardo Silva different goalkeeper but same yep. problem Here's De Bruyne. Oh, he's hit it well. Oh, he was reaching for it just to wrap his foot round it. The necessary amount was not easy. The furthest forward here. That's past Fabinho. Dyke's trying to get a block in and maybe got something on this. Yeah, he did get something on it. And he's trying to aim for the far post, Kevin De Bruyne. His next job is to take the corner. Tall man in the middle. Cancelo in towards Ake. He's not particularly tall, but has a lovely natural spring. He's brought in goals in the past. And against Bayern Munich in their last pre-season friendly. He was the target for all their set plays. As we mentioned he's not particularly big, but he's got a good leap on him. Just didn't get the timing right on that occasion. And he has scored a couple of goals against Liverpool in his career. Watford into Bournemouth. And he mentioned Chelsea at the start of course Chelsea was his first English club. They did have an option to re-sign him from Bournemouth, which they didn't take up, and now they're going to spend a lot more money to get him back. Here's Firmino trying to set Robertson inside Walker. Van Dijk. to keep that in and find a man. Alexander Arnold. Obviously look 
forward by Thiago. Salah is playing in the central avenues and then releasing it for Robertson. First time crosses on. And it was Luis Diaz who was trying to connect with it. Nice touch by De Bruyne. And here goes Haaland. Grealish. He's set up the goal, if I'm not mistaken, in uh, the USA for Erling Haaland. He actually had one of his best games I've seen him play for Man City the time he was on, Grealish. With what he did at Aston Villa, went past people with the ball. I not seen that much of it last year. It's often said when players join Pep Guardiola's system, it takes them a season to learn the philosophy and uh, usually better in their second campaign. And if that's the case with Grealish, the opposition better look out. Rodrik on that final day and to come back to beat Aston Villa look like Gundogan who got two of the three and was uh, on the bench he didn't go to America for pre-season training and matches just made his run a fraction too early I think he wanted the ball played first time by Rodri Van Dijk. Thiago needed quick feet and the foot were quick enough. And Brian has always raised a sharp. Salah has started very brightly. Henderson. A lot of space left for Robertson to come into, but the service to him has not been quite up to scratch so far. As we're still in July, I think you can forgive that. But, uh, they set very high standards, these two. And there has been a lot of space for Robertson to get forward because well, it's something that Jurgen Klopp has been working on, but well, Diaz has made a lot of runs from outside to in. He's tried to break the offside line because Man City are playing a high line. With those diagonal runs in between the centre-backs. And ball driven against Bernardo Silva. Is Darwin Nunez, who ripped up the Portuguese league last season, and there's already a four goal substitute appearance for Liverpool. And when you look back at his goals last season, he came in all sorts of forms. He's good in the air, he's got a powerful strike on him. He can twist and turn in the box as well. He's That's a good addition to Jurgen Klopp's side. Just got a glimpse of another new addition, Fabio Cavallo from uh, Fulham. And he's sitting uh, on the left as we looked. It's Firmino, the other number nine. Fabinho. There is the early territory with Liverpool. Caught in two minds. De Bruyne. And, uh, was a handball. Liverpool took the free kick too quickly or from the wrong place. Craig Pawson refereed the FA Cup final. Which was the game that saw Liverpool qualify for this curtain raiser. With the uh, FA Cup winners of the previous season that beat Manchester City a year ago, Leicester City. Thiago. And dropping it for Salah. Alexander-Arnold coming around the back is Robertson. Ooh, and he went, either he got the header wrong or he went for goal. Well, I think he got caught in two minds there. Great delivery. One full back to the other. That shows the intent of Liverpool. See Walker's tucked in a long way with Firmino. Mahrez didn't read the danger. I don't think he saw a cutback with his head. So then he went for goal at the last minute. And as you say, didn't quite get it right. He was certainly going for goal. Kyle Walker, if he does have a weakness in his defensive play, is that. It does uh, get sucked in. 
caught with players coming behind him. But I think as you saw from his reaction, Stuart, he thought that maybe Mares should have been back marking Robertson and he was in the right place, Walker. If you see those two play together on enough occasions, you'll see Walker do that many, many times to Mares. Where were you when I needed you to cover me? The other factor in that particular attack, right back and left back for Liverpool. And everybody knows what they can do. The stats are remarkable in assists and even some goal scoring themselves. And yet nobody really has come up with a system to stop it. Here's Grealish. One way to stop it is to have the ball, of course. Walker, how central he is. And he finds Maris as his mate in the attacking sense. And so it comes to defending. And he's uh, hustled by Luis Diaz, but not out of possession. That was good defending by Thiago because he knew Mares wanted to come back on his left foot. So he stood in the way of the cross. Put in by Cancelo. Good pass to Joel Matip. Rodri. No Fernandinho, of course. And he's uh, going back to South America. It's uh, an enormous contribution as a player and as a person to the Manchester City. Okay, time for City, they probably felt, to get on the ball. That's only their modus operandi. Oh, no possession in the opposition, wearing them down. Masters of the pass. Just for a moment there, Robertson made a bad decision. Marley's ran him into midfield, Robertson went with him. The pass out to Walker was a bit slow. Would miss Diaz to get back. City start their Premier League campaign at West Ham, which is their last away game of last season. Which they got a, a point after being 2 0 down, and that point in the end, Pep Guardiola could say, Well, that was the one that kept us above Liverpool after the final day's action was uh, finished when, of course, they beat Villa and Liverpool trailing by that point, beat Wolves, but okay, just meant the runners up spot. That close, nip and tuck, cut and thrust, whatever phrase you want to use. These two are at the top of it. And the great thing is they've done it in slightly different ways, tactically. And their philosophy, how they want the game to be played. It's too simple to say passing against power, but it's, it's th that way. in-your-face style, maybe a little stealthier from Manchester City, and perhaps because the styles are different, every match is a real contest. Luis <laughs> Diaz can't get away, and now they're sort of barreling in, punching above his weight a little bit. And Walker, it's frantic. well and good to say the fixture doesn't matter so much if you lose it and it's great to hold the shield up you need a good pair of biceps to hold it up by the way it's a heavy trophy but the fact is these are the, the likely top two they have been the top two They're out of uh, all opposition there will be it's the Premier League there will be plenty of challenges and, uh, in North London uh, both Spurs and Arsenal are pointing to good recruitment Chelsea have got Raheem Sterling from Manchester City. But the fact is, I think these players think there's something at stake here beyond the trophy. There's a message to the opposite camp. And here is Diaz going in. Henderson couldn't quite find him. Henderson called into action. Salah, Diaz. Don't tell me this is a pre-season showpiece, this is a proper football match. <laughs> they went to sleep, Manchester City off the throw-in. Suddenly Liverpool were in behind them. I think there was a double touch. Rodri gets a touch there, Diaz gets a touch there, and so does Edison. Edison, the player that 
saw the danger, got in behind. And that touch just took it away from Edison. Ake. And cooking it towards Walker. For the countryman, that's a good touch by Salah. First time by Henderson, and trying to switch it as you pointed out, Stuart, and working the right to get the left side free. Mm -hmm. Fabinho, Matic steps forward. Under Arnold, Salah. Again, it's Diaz this time. Drops forward. Up by Thiago. The pass out to Salah. Alexander Arnold. First blood to Liverpool. Well, we said he makes goals, but does score some as well. And he's proved that point in the Community Shield. Well, a couple of big switches of play. Came out to the left-hand side, then went back to the right-hand side. And it was set up nicely for Alexander-Arnold. Just to whip it in with his right foot here. There's the run from Robertson through the centre-four position. Left space for Luis Diaz. Back four for Man City, a very narrow. That's why the switch of play was on to Mo Salah, and then Rodri can't get out. Does it take a deflection? Nathan Ake tried to get his head onto it. And it's a very good finish in the end. Let's have a look from this angle. I'm not sure he does get a touch. It's just the perfect finish from a top-class player on the ball. Alexander-Arnold. A message to the Manchester City fans, and maybe I mean, he's a player of enormous ability, but he sometimes finds himself on the wrong end of criticism for his uh, defensive attributes or lack of them. As an attacking right back, he's up there with the very, very best. And he's just proved that point, whether it's Kim Nathanakis at the top of his head or not. It was uh, Alexander Arnold's goal. And Liverpool, who were the side forcing the uh, setting the agenda here, they have to look the sharper side in this first period of the game. Mo Salah, Alexander Arnold, and it's Diaz. Manchester City yeah. the meeting at Wembley in the FA Cup semi final. Themselves, uh, really uh, on the wrong end of most of the uh, most of the game. Let's have a look again. Okay, there's a little touch, but we're not going to call that an own goal. And I don't think it actually diverted the half of the ball. Edison was never getting there. Very good start from Liverpool. Grealish and almost a side of goal for Erling Haaland Nathanake who gave away the penalty by which Manchester City lost the Community Shield a year ago he's played a minor role in them being behind here to applaud the Liverpool boss. You see Liverpool had more of the shots. Five to two, but only one on target. And here's De Bruyne, another chance to equalise. Another widening angle. He's trying to squeeze it in at that near post and didn't quite connect. 
full power. Great pass from Mares here. The weight of the pass to go beyond Van Dijk. And for some reason, he doesn't hit through the back of the ball. He tries to pass it into the near post. That's a big miss from Kevin De Bruyne. And here goes Henderson. Diaz, the spare man, is uh, Bobby Firmino, but it went a little bit behind him. And, uh, he would have liked that just at least at him. Henderson's Preferably made, in front of him. Yeah, Henderson made one or two very good runs from midfield. And then beyond Mo Salah. Firmino never really looked as though he was going to get away from his man or open up the space to get the shot away with any conviction. And top speaking... Uh, Extremely warmly about Roberto Firmino, saying he's the heart and soul of the club. Because he didn't always play last season, he had injuries. And now Diaz, as we said, hit the ground running. That's the city of do some running here. Grealish. Stopped by Fabinho, hoovering up, as he does in front of the back four. Firmino. Time for Diaz to bring the ball down, do a bit of juggling, and then get at Manchester City. Supported by Robertson. Matic. Recovering from the slip. He's the man that's actually set the tone for the first half, I would say. Mo Salah, his first couple of runs with the ball, runs off the ball as well. It's true, I think not many people saw the exit of Gabriel Jesus, who was never quite the number one for the very big games for Manchester City. But Raheem Sterling, how did you see that departure? Did you expect it? Uh, to a certain degree, you could see it coming for quite some while. Raheem Sterling didn't look particularly happy over the maybe last the course of the last 18 months. He didn't always get the backing of the manager either. I think his time at Man City had probably run. And it should be a good move for him. I fully understand why Guardiola got the money for him and brought in Haaland. And Paul Sterling, who came to Manchester City from Liverpool. And here's De Bruyne getting behind Liverpool. Thiago in the right place to make sure Grealish wasn't picked out with a cutback. Going back to what we were talking, maybe he saw that this was the season Grealish had to really come to the fore. You mentioned he has quite often when he gets players in the first season, they don't always play. Tries to get them into his style of football. Now Grealish has got the opportunity to start games out on that left-hand side where Sterling normally played. Ake. So we've been flattish from Manchester City, but not quite enough really from them. Julian uh, Alvarez, who reminds me a bit of Ferran Torres, who of course was at Manchester City and left to him last season, or started last season. He's, uh, from River Plate in Argentina, signed there in January and then uh, loaned back. But he's a, another attacking option and another reason perhaps why Raheem Sterling was moved on. Well, he only came on for the second half against Bayern Munich in that pre-season game. He's got electric pace, his movement was excellent. He looks a real find, I would say. Still going. I'm possibly annoyed if this leads to a city equaliser. Powerful break, typical break from Kyle Walker. And Thiago, not for the first time in this game, defending capably.
Pre-season for the officials as well. Coming up to match speed, a few of the uh, old guard of the end of their run as Premier League uh, match vision points of Mike Dean, John Moss, and guys Alexander Arnold, but Edison easily there before him. Coming up to the half an hour mark. It's been pretty much full throttle from Liverpool and Manchester City. And the community shield at stake. Rodri. So Liverpool don't mind this. Their pressing's good here. They've got in numbers. Man City struggling to get out. Liverpool have played more than twice as many matches as Manchester City. Could that be a factor in the way this first half an hour's gone? Yeah, they do look a bit sharper. They have had more minutes under their belts. They did lose, of course, 4-0 to Manchester United. There's uh, no flag here. There's Riyad Mahrez here. And it's turned aside by Adrian. And uh, wondering why the flag didn't go up. Because he was clearly offside. But you don't mind Mares trying to make those runs. So if he stays wide, Liverpool holding a high line, just made his run a fraction too early. Hits it with power. Straight at Adrian. Yes, Liverpool lost 4 0 to Manchester United. And they lost their last game to. Uh, RB Salzburg. In between, makes some very good performances together. And of course, it's not all about winning in pre season, it's the kind of preparation to get the good start that everybody needs, especially the sides that are expected to go and uh, challenge for the title. And there's you know, two more sides in that respect than these two. Solo got in quickly. And the flag is up. I don't think the referee's noticed it just yet. And the ball did go to Grealish. He was in an offside position. He won't be overly pleased with the first 32 minutes. He will be. Yeah, but he won't be taking anything for granted. <laughs> That's for sure. Thiago. You know, lucky to get a second bite at that. Matic. That's the straightforward one over the top. Go over the top of Kyle Walker. Away by Alexander Arnold. That's the run of Luis Diaz again, outside to win. It's uh, three against two for a moment here in Manchester City's favour. And uh, can Erling Haaland, he gets his shot in. Adrian saves. Good strength to hold off the defender. Not the finish that uh, is expected of the Norwegian, but maybe one here. And then Mares. Frustration for Erling Haaland. Haaland, oh, there you go. I knew I'd do it once. Oh, could he have gone with his head for the second one? As you mentioned, he finds the space here. Robertson's coming back. He shows good strength to hold him off. But he's just falling over. Not the composure with the finish. And this one, I thought he was going to dive. Try and get it with his head. Instead, he goes with the outside of his left boot. Probably not the right decision on that occasion. Everybody wanted him. All the uh, big clubs you could ever think of naming were trying to get that release clause activated. Headed back by Ake. Uh, 51 and a bit million pounds. Fantastic value. 
It's the release clause that was set when he joined Borussia Dortmund and it looked obsolete after a few weeks, really. Going back to his first three games, he came on as a second-half substitute and scored a hat-trick in something like 13, 14 minutes. And then came on as a sub in the second game and scored a couple of goals. And he actually started a game and scored a couple of goals. He got player of the month in the Bundesliga. Actually, uh, a goal a game in uh, international football with Norway. Cancelo. Grealish. De Bruyne. And, uh, and back shuffles it back to Adrian. That's maybe where he might need to just show up and become a link up player. Kevin De Bruyne got it on the edge of the box. And Harlan needed to show up on that occasion. He was actually almost in behind Van Dijk. Ten minutes to go to half time. Liverpool lead at Leicester. Ruben Diaz. Uh, missed the back end of last season, and now I'm Eric Laporte, who filled in well for him. He's going to miss the first few weeks of this campaign. There's a talk about an incoming left back, Mark Kukurea. The Brighton and Hove Albion has put in a transfer request. Manchester City have a vacancy. Zinchenko gone to Arsenal. And Brighton held out for a good price for the player they sold a, a year ago, Ben White. And I'm sure they'll do the same. Manchester City really want to get away. They're going to have to pay the going rate. Brighton's going rate. He's near enough the 50 million pounds, I think. Yeah. Rodri. Walker. Okay. Into the stride, the quicker of the two. The city with damage to repair and uh, the presence of a, a genuine goal scorer in the middle is a bit different. A whole list of false number nines. Pep Guardiola, he's a real one trying to get there. Good play from Cancelo down that left hand side. He's had a tough first half up against Mo Salah. But that's him at his best. Great pace. It's a good cross with the ball, both with his right foot and his left foot. Cancelo again. And again, and it's through to uh, Mares here. Wanted on his left foot, cracked with his right, but didn't uh, fool Liverpool by doing that. De Bruyne, it's better from Manchester City. Okay. Harlan thought there was somebody behind him. Jack Grealish, it might have been, but Grealish was right in the middle, alongside him. Getting on the ball a bit more, Manchester City, and there you go, they've started to shade possession, which wasn't certainly the case with Liverpool's fast start. Liverpool certainly for the first half an hour have looked the more threatening side. In one or two moments for Man City, the chance for Haaland, the chance for Kevin De Bruyne. Here's Grealish. To De Bruyne. Now Mares, who can be so dangerous. 24 goals last season for Manchester City. Top scorer in all competitions. But not one here when they need one in the Community Shield. Oh, great vision from Kevin De Bruyne, 1v1. Doesn't really move the ball far enough. There was a bit of space to pass it into that far corner. Didn't quite get it right. We had Mares. 
Another player who took maybe a year, maybe a bit longer to settle into Man City once he was bought. He's been brilliant for them ever since. Of course, playing on the ground he knows well. He won the Premier League with Leicester City. Mares and Vardy. Vardy still here. And the two players from the English game were unknown. Golo Conte and Riyad Mahrez on that Leicester side. Two brilliant performers. Interesting, uh, leisurely three. Edison does go long from time to time, but now he's got a real target to aim at. But if that's going to happen regularly, Harlan will be expected to hold the ball up. And now he's in support of Grealish. His touch took him back in the wrong direction, but Manchester City come again. They're finishing the half much stronger than the way they started it. And Mares goes down. And Pearson not interested. We do have VAR today. John Brooks is the man who might just be having another look at this. When you say he wasn't interested, I thought he put the whistle to his mouth to start with and then decided not to blow it. Does he run into the player? Thiago's coming across to try and block the left foot shot. He does stand in his way. But I don't think the VR will change the referee's mind on that occasion. And Thiago had a little bit of a look. At, uh... Henderson's, the referee's direction. Yeah, Henderson's trying to put it in the mind of Craig Paulson in case he has to go to the side. Telling him what exactly happened. Klopp's getting agitated, almost as if the penalty is going to be given here. He's shaking his head. There's every reason why the referee, the VAR, is looking at it. This is where they weren't happy with the challenge. There's nothing wrong with that. He wins the ball here, Cancelo. Arnold's a bit raw from it. I'm ready to restart with a throw and not a penalty. Funny enough, you mentioned quite rightly, Stuart Mo Salah's electrifying contribution to the first 15 minutes, but he's, they've not been able to get the ball to him. In the last 15 minutes or so, as Manchester City have grown into the fixture. Yeah, they were trying to hold a high line early on in the game. And they hit a couple of big diagonals and balls in behind Cancelo. He wasn't quite say, ready for the game, but he got caught out a couple of times. Mo Salah was at full pace. Bernardo Silva. Walker. Grealish is certainly getting into the game more often. De Bruyne oh, can't quite get there. Robertson still it away, and now here is Salah, but in his own territory, trying to get Liverpool up the field in his inimitable style. Cancelo getting back at him on that occasion. Much better from Man City in the last 15, 20 minutes. Walker's the out ball because Luis Diaz is trying to close down one of the centre half. Then he has to come out. Either him or Firmino. Then you see Mo Salah coming in on Bernardo Silva. That leaves Cancelo free. Henderson then has to go out and deal with it. More control. The men in blue. Walker. It's on the last day of the Premier League season. Both the city's capabilities of turning things round when uh, staring adversity in the face. Three goals in eight minutes. See the player who got two of them 
Later on in the piece here, okay, Gunduan. Harland waits. Mares assesses. Carried away by Firmino. That's nice efficient by Bernardo Silva, but Diaz was on his uh, defensive game there, and he goes again. Mares holds him off. De Bruyne. Easy for Rodri. He had his best goal scoring season for Manchester City last season. He certainly hit it into the right area. Lovely little ball play with the outside of the boot by Kevin De Bruyne. Into added time of uh, just the two minutes. Testing his innocence. He was saying that he was nudged out of the way, almost into Grealish. Ake. And so, uh, a bit of a percentage ball. Getting, uh, Harlan to run the channel. Bernardo Silva, Grealish losing out. Camino and uh, Salah, and now Thiago. Salah wants it to the right, he gets it. Luis Diaz is in the middle. Oh, good hands from Edison. I'm not sure that Luis Diaz would have got to that, but he couldn't take that risk. And then it's a mistake by De Bruyne, blocked by Firmino. A couple of mistakes in this uh, last minute of the first half Here at the King Power Stadium. Matip. And Porson looks at his watch. Now we look at Trent Alexander Arnold, who's a uh, shot. Just took a skim off the head of Nathan Ake. It gave Liverpool at the time a deserved lead. But Manchester City stung by that, of course. And perhaps shortage of matches in the pre-season took some time to get into their stride. They're showing signs of reaching that now. And it sets up a really promising second half. But first half to Liverpool by one goal to nil. It's just like Guardiola and Klopp know what they have had given to them by these outstanding players who've moved on, like Sterling and Jesus and Zinchenko to some extent as well, and Sadio Mane. Strange to see Liverpool in action without his name on the team sheet. Six excellent years. Everyone wishes him well in Munich. Roberts. of the teams the fact that this 11 played the last half an hour in Salzburg on Wednesday the real suggestion that they're going to play a lot of minutes here and half a dozen subs per side and if we go into the season with five in the Premier League for, five for each team it will be a slightly new dimension in that respect Grealish Rodri simply trying to Start the second half, the way they finished the first half, and it's uh, saved by Adrian. It was a uh, mishit by Mares. It was a wonderful opportunity to assert Manchester City right at the start of this second half. Well, apart from the finish, the rest of the play was absolutely magnificent. The run from Mares, the ball over the top, I think it was from Rodri. Rodri gets on the ball, gets himself half turned. The timing of the run behind Robertson is perfect. The first touch is perfect. The finish, not quite so good. Doesn't Hit it with these laces. Almost comes off the bottom of his foot. Big big Haaland will have to learn that if it's on Maris's left foot, he isn't going to leave it to Haaland's right. <laughs> he probably wouldn't have expected that. Here's Grealish. Now Bernardo Silva. 
champions trying to uh, up their game here after a rather sloppy start Just, uh, put them a goal behind we saw that cup if they cut semi-final last year where Liverpool were leading 3-0 then City came back to 3-2 and had a couple more chances near the end of the game Walker I wondered perhaps for a while why Adrian was uh, being kept on by Liverpool he only played once I think in a League Cup tie last season and he's uh, made a couple of important contributions as the, the stand-in here for Alisson in particular and young uh, the younger Vivian Kelleher it was a foul mm. he eventually got the ball but he got a bit of his Diaz as well With well over 350 games in charge of their respective clubs Fantastic winning percentages. Two pullbacks. Signal comes from Roberts. Who's the delivery coming from though? Here's the stop. Fabinho is around the back. Put two to stop him. But, but, uh, can be recycled by Salah. Henderson. Walker did well. I'm not sure that didn't uh, catch him underneath the ball. And then, uh, see if he gets an outlet through a Liverpool foul. Ake. Chelsea, of course, in need of defenders under their new ownership and departure of particularly Antonio Rudiger and Chris Christensen as well. And Nathan Ake knows his way around Stamford Bridge, so to speak. And he wants to play more regularly because he wants to be in the Dutch World Cup squad, understandably. Pep Guardiola needs him here. And there he is. He's been given a boost, if that's what you call it, with his Zinchenko going and also the injury to Laporte. And Gerson, Alexander Arnold. Can't find Robertson, which in itself is a bit of a surprise. A telepathic relationship. Liverpool haven't lifted the shield since 2006. And beat Chelsea. And Cardiff goes from uh, Lisa is uh, Julian Alvarez does a few stretches. and Peter Crouch got the goals against Chelsea the last time Liverpool were winners of the Shield it was the Community Shield by then he almost invites the challenge doesn't he Jack Grealish he could have passed it back to Bernardo Silva but he waits and waits and waits but he's regularly at the top of the list of the most fouled players in, uh, in Premier League football as he hangs on to the ball and about the challenges. And Robertson had to come across at the near post. Corner for Manchester City. They've got the bit between their teeth, you feel, at the moment. De Bruyne to take it. Haaland is in there. And he leaves it to the defenders. Alexander Arnold finds a way to extricate Liverpool from an awkward situation with Cancelo. Puts him on the back foot again, headed out by Van Dijk, back by Cancelo. And here is Grealish. And Cancelo is fouled. It's 
been all Man City at the start of this second half. They've upped the tempo. They're playing on the front foot now. So a lot of their work pre-season has been done on the training ground rather than in pre-season fixtures. Anderson trying to be the creator, he's done that before. Fabinho. Match hardened. Really grueling pre-seasons. Every former footballer like Stuart Robson alongside me has unhappy memories of what you have to go through to get fit for the first game. Here's Salah. Henderson. Almost a position to whip that like Alexander Arnold did with the goal, but it wasn't quite set up for him the same way. Here's the skipper again. And Salah again. Alexander Arnold looking for one on his left foot this time. A break for Thiago. Better from Liverpool. He soaked up a bit of early pressure in this second half. And now looking for their own agenda again. Not by Ake. De Bruyne. Matip's in the way. Next goal really important here in the Community Shield. Walker. Thiago sees it out. Pro Liverpool. It looked to be a good shot as well with his left foot, Alexander Arnold. Looks by a combination of Rodri and Bernardo Silva. Henderson. Linking with Alexander Arnold. Linking with Firmino just. <laughs> that wasn't the best ball back to the skipper from Bobby Firmino. It's not the best flick from Bernardo Silva, but De Bruyne turned it into something. It could be something very uh, glittering as well for Manchester City. Grealish on the move. And, uh, well, it's calmly done by Robertson. How far away was that from Haaland's head? Combination that got Erling Haaland his first goal in City's colours in the Green Bay. I wonder if he needed to play that in the air, if he'd have rolled it along the ground onto... Harlan's left foot and he just had a chance to sweep it in. But they're the opportunities that you want Jack Grealish to get. 1v1 against the defender, racing into the box. That's where he's got to do better this year. He did that brilliantly for Aston Villa over the space of a couple of seasons. Henderson. Kidology from Salah there, all sort of disinterested, and it was sprinting off for a ball that didn't come. And he catch the defender out. There's Luis Diaz who bristles with attacking intent. Firmino. And Henderson's got free. Cancelo got there maybe just to buy Manchester City a bit of time and it uh, peters out. At least momentarily. The other has blinked first, so to speak. Got two substitutes lined up. Not in the moment. Yes, here comes Fabinho and Luis Diaz. And Diaz blocks the Diaz. Henderson it falls for De Bruyne. Not too much ahead of him. And uh, he runs into. A very determined Joel Matip. Here's Robertson. Looking for Firmino, but he might have found Salah. No, Cancelo gets there first, but Liverpool have a corner. After a turnover. Well, De Bruyne was unhappy with the run of Haaland, who... He was. He went too early. Oh. So he couldn't play him the pass. Liverpool's two centre-backs closed him down. So, Phil Foden, well-known to Manchester City fans. Julian Alvarez, not so well-known. Uh, with the potential to become very well-known. 
The classic coaching manual, you don't substitute when you're defending a corner. And here's uh, Owen Nunez getting ready for his Liverpool baptism in an official game. And by Ruben Diaz, collected by Salah. Liverpool lead 1-0, we're coming up to the hour mark in the community shield. There's no extra time. And of course, it will be decided by penalties. Should it be level after 90 minutes? So Jack Grealish coming off and Riyad Mahrez, it seems, for Manchester City changes. Yeah, you can understand one of the wide players coming off, but Mahrez is enough to play through the middle. Interesting to see where he goes. And Phil Foden. I don't think it was with the Manchester City squad in the USA. But Julian Alvarez was. And here, for Liverpool fans, is a uh, important moment. He wants to get himself in the, uh, the starting eleven for Fulham away in a week's time. We've seen some really good Uruguayan centre forwards, haven't we? Mm. Cavani, Suarez, Forlan. Could he be the next lot, one on the line? Liverpool still lead with the substitutions made. And it was a different type of uh, central striker to Bobby Firmino. He's often dropping deep to help create opportunities for others. He hasn't been scoring quite as regularly in the last couple of years as uh, Mane and Salah. And he's a goal scorer, is Darwin Nunez. And he's on the run here, and Edison comes out. The players crash into each other. Nunez says, I want something. And the flag suggests whatever he wanted wouldn't have counted. Oh, that would have been a great start for him, wouldn't it? It's got the Liverpool fans excited. Just offside, you see, as the ball's played forward. Good decision by the assistant. He kept his flag down. Wanted to see what developed, just overrun it here. It was a tight one whether Edison got the ball or not, but I think he just about did. Doesn't matter, he was offside. A little pull of... Uh improved in the last few minutes I was going to say when we got to the hour mark Stuart first half an hour to Liverpool next half an hour for Manchester City but I don't think that's quite fair is it really and Manchester City certainly had periods just before half time and at the start at the very start of this second half and it's still uh, fascinatingly poised here who's going to be the Kings in the King power for the community shield Bernardo Silva Roger. Cancela. Working with De Bruyne. Harlan waiting in the middle. De Bruyne's ball. Aimed for Walker. Tripped over Robertson. But, uh, fortune favoured Liverpool and they look to counter attack here. So he had plenty of players forward. And Luis Diaz leaves some of them in his wake and he can't quite find Salah it would have been a, a golden opportunity had he done so and to uh, torn the marking apart here's Van Dijk stepping in and that was a position that Rodri really didn't want to be in wasn't it out wide 1v1 against Luis Diaz in the end he gave up on it been so easily for pace. Henderson found by Salah. And again, Walker relieved to look behind to see nobody there. And the second goal might just be enough for Liverpool, although you never tell. And it's uh, 
a sign of the calibre of Manchester City. Ruben Diaz. And there's Alvarez, as you said, right at the start, Stuart, is very rapid. And he's gone to the right hand side where Mares was playing. Foden has come to the left. That's with uh, Rodolfo Borrell. That's the city bench. Foden. As for the moment, at least, just filled in like to like where Grealish was playing. Cancelo. That's the one where Robertson wasn't really because uh, Grealish got back in front of him. Did the defending. It might be the substitutes that decide this in this position. We're going to see more of them, I'm sure. Foden. Took by Henderson. On from Henderson. Salah, oh, there's a chance to... Nunez to stretch his legs, and he knew it, Mo Salah. And he was onside on that occasion. And Nake decided to gamble and stay still. But Diaz was that little bit deeper. Nunez would have been in. forward that Kevin De Bruyne is playing yeah, the two holding midfield players Man City mm. that was a little fortunate for Ruben Diaz but Ake couldn't deal with it and Nunez well saved by Edison another chance for the substitute the new potential star who Anfield and it's brought out cleverly by Walker who finds De Bruyne a chance at one end to maybe Settle the hash of Manchester City for Liverpool. It's, uh, Darwin Nunez, not the first Liverpool player in recent years to find Edison a real uh, problem to deal with in those one on one situations. Yeah, I think he's trying to just pass it beyond Edison. When he looks at it again, could he have just lifted it over the goalkeeper? That's good. It's a good header. <laughs> it was a good header from Edison, but he was also out quickly, wasn't he? Bang in the face, but keepers will stop them any which way. He made a stunning impact as a substitute in the new season game against uh, Leipzig. He's be on the field for maybe six or seven minutes could he have, well, I don't think he could have lifted it over I think that's good goalkeeping from Edison he stays fairly tall doesn't go down too early that's why it hits him in the face big chance though for the substitute 20 minutes gone in the second half and the stoppage turned into a drinks break Uh, welfare very much considered I think particularly for the top players who will be asked so much uh, squeezed in first half of the season the vast majority of the players we're watching today will be off to the World Cup be nice for Pep and Jürgen they'll have a, a bit of time off in the middle of the season he's used to a winter break in his Germany days as a player and a manager quarter point just the one goal his team have conceded it his team have scored it it's written on both their faces <laughs> now we are at the moment but there's uh, a twist or two to come I'm sure as you said most of these players will be at the World Cup the difficulty will be for the managers of Premier League teams and teams around the world but only half the players are at the World Cup Game again, Henderson, and a lot of 
forward surges. He's defended well from the front. A bit of a brain's trust around Pep Guardiola. As to how this one more deficit might be turned around. Uh, you've got to be careful if it goes to penalties. I mean, Liverpool have been excellent in the two cup finals. Two domestic cup finals last season, and they won from the spot. What a pass. And Edison to De Bruyne. Not, not matched by the Belgian. And he expected Alvarez to make the run alongside or in behind Robertson. Alvarez actually stopped. Determination from Cancelo. So uh, you've probably worked out by now. He's had the two taken off his shirt. The 27's become seven. Still 47 for Phil Folk and 17 for Kevin De Bruyne. Rodri. Good challenge by Fabinho, but it breaks to Ake. Stolen by Erling Haaland. Uh, under the microscope, I'm sure, from my newspaper writers who get their match reports ready for tomorrow's papers. And by De Bruyne and Adrian. That's a bit of it. It wasn't the best hand on the ball, <laughs> it certainly wasn't the best kick. He had a lot of uh, English uh, experience with West Ham. And it was all time field. And it's Cancelo. Silva. Henderson trying to keep him at bay. Foden to tease it in. A shout for handball against Matip. Well, the VAR will have a look at that, but uh, for the moment, Liverpool counter attack. A moment of controversy. And Luis Diaz trying to go the whole way himself. Well, Matip went to ground, but he didn't need to go to ground. He tried it, almost headed it off the floor. He gained an advantage with that handball, and that's what we'll have to wait and see. Vial will be looking at it now. And, uh, Bernardo Silva, Alvarez, Haaland, De Bruyne. Foden's coming in, back post, Phil Foden goes again, Adrian goes again, and it's put in by Alvarez, but the flag is up. But Foden had the chance. And he wasn't offside, I don't think, when the first ball came in. Have a look here. It's a great pass from Kevin De Bruyne. Is he offside? No, he's not. And where's the offside occur, then? Oh, the... Is it a foul? Foul on the goalkeeper by Foden. I think the assistant has given Foden offside for the first ball. That's what he's given. Well, then VAR could come to Manchester City's aid. Did he have two hands on it? I don't mm. think he did. Got to be stronger as a goalkeeper there. Certainly didn't have full control of the ball. He's the man that's made the decision. It's Harry Leonard. He's desperate for it to be offside, of course. What a start this would be for Alvarez. January, loan back to River Plate, Argentina International. Here it is again, this is mm. going to be a tight call. On that viewing, I would say neither player was offside. The arm of Alvarez was in an offside position, whether they think he then came back into play, but the arm doesn't count. Mm, he's waiting for the word as well. Polite inquiries from Kyle Walker. Nervous pacing from Pep Guardiola. Big moment in a big match.
Foden should have scored with the first mm. volley. Hit it straight at the goalkeeper. He's not to place it either side of him. Just to remind you, John Brooks. He's one of the younger Premier League officials. He's in charge of the VAR here. And he's given. 1-1. One, one. And it looked the right decision, Stuart. It certainly did. Guardiola's trying to give him some tactical advice. And he's got a big smile over his face. He's just realised he's scored his first Man City goal. What a moment for him. Man City right back in this game. There's where Foden should have scored. But he wasn't offside. That's key to it. Adrian should have been stronger there. And here's the finish. Bundled in by Alvarez. What a pass from Kevin De Bruyne. Well, he hasn't had so much of the publicity because he's technically not a new signing in the sense they signed him in January. Of course, it's his first time at the club. It's his first goal for the club. It's an official goal, an official match. Ilkay Gundogan comes on with instructions for Haaland. Phil Foden's probably relieved because, as you say, he should have scored Harvey Elliott on for Liverpool. And James Milner ready to come into yet another big fixture. What a career he has had and is still having. 37 in the turn of next year. The corner is off. Oh. Do it. And where do we go from here? Maybe to penalties. But, uh, maybe we'll be playing for that, that's for sure. Well, Milner's gone to right back. And Foden will be looking to run in behind him and run at him. And there's the man of the moment. Good one. Is fouled and hurt. He took one from Fabinho. He doesn't stay hurt for long. A young man, old school. Rodri. It's been a little bit of a curse for Liverpool come the Shield fixture. They've lost the lead here. And VAR playing a massive part in that. Foden. Here he is again. Alvarez looking for Haaland. That's probably all they need now, Manchester City. Haaland to get the winner. Just the instructions that were given to Alvarez. I think he might play closer to Haaland. Now they're back into the game. And they threw it through to him there. Cut out by Van Dijk. Robertson. Don't forget that... Uh, Darwin Nunez has had a couple of great breaks for Liverpool. They have the, the threat. Looking as though they're going to have to play on the counter-attack now. Here's uh, Bernardo Silva. Manchester City have suddenly got their mojo. Well, not suddenly, it's been coming. Yeah, Bernardo be Silva will probably play that a little bit higher up the field now. With Kevin De Bruyne going off. Can't see too much of him in the first half. Tries to cross it with his right foot. Look for the moment, we wouldn't see anything at all in a Manchester City shirt a few weeks ago. And the Barcelona temptation. Here's Elliot. For Nunez who tries to get it early into Luis Diaz. It's a cracking game. And we would expect nothing less between these two. Elliot. Matic. Robertson. Elliot, who had a very good pre-season. He was doing well from the pre-season last season until he got a, a broken ankle. Plenty of shots. Too many on target for Jurgen Klopp's team. Now after a poor start to the game, Man City have certainly come into it. Those stats will tell you. Thiago. 
so many potential match winners on view to turn parity into victory. Robertson. Another way by Rodri very effectively. It's a marvellous pass to Alvarez. Gundogan. Disappointed with Harlan's movement on that occasion. Alvarez was running with the ball. Harlan didn't really try and make a run for it. Didn't expect the two centre backs. Well, that would be under scrutiny. Every move that he makes. And, and of course, he's learning a different style of football. Had a former Manchester City player as a defender, and then Alfie Harland. Uh, we got together, I'm sure, looking at videos and all the data. But this is uh, for real out on the pitch, and there's a match to be won, and he's a match winner. Cancelo. Good work defensively by Elliot. Be embarrassed by Foden. Adrian's kicking hasn't been perfect. But, uh, he's coming under greater threat now. Walker. Ronaldo Silva, as you say, more on the right now. Almost a 4 4 2. You see Rodri and Gundogan holding midfield players. Foden on the left, Bernardo Silva towards the right. And Alvarez and Haaland up front. Gundogan early, trying to switch it out to the left hand side to Cancelo. So here come Liverpool on the counter with Salah and Nunez. It's blocked. Liverpool won the penalty for handball. Nunez pulled away at the far post. He's chased the referee. Might get him into trouble. And Manchester City with a chance to put Foden in again as they did on the goal. Well, what a move it was from Liverpool. He started it off when the ball comes into his body. Mo Salah with the perfect delivery. Diaz is the player, his arm is out by his side. That could be given. That could well be given. He's very unfortunate, I'm not sure where else you can have your hands as you're running. One arm has to come up, the other arm has to go behind you. But on these occasions they are usually given. Big, big moment here. And the VAR, very much part of... Uh, the world for these players these days. They, they've had one go against them, Liverpool. Now they want one to go for them. What I can never quite understand is why the Liverpool players want to get round the referee. The AI is going to look at it. Yeah. They're going to tell him to go and have a look at the. They can't influence it. Just no. let the referee do his job. But by and large, high percentage of. Uh, Monitor viewings by referees who've had advice from uh, in their ear from the VR official. They tend to go with what they're being told. And Craig Paul's very much a senior man with uh, John Brooks, the VAR man. See, he's actually in the end trying to put his arm away, but I think it will be given. His arm is out away from his body. The header wasn't even on target. It wasn't a great header. We've got every reason that I think the referee will give this yeah. I must say the first replay we saw suggested that that would be the case that's a modern day handball if you like but if the officials are consistent with it now and then yes gets uh, high fives because he was the player who set it up uh, remember a little stat I told you earlier Liverpool lost here to Leicester City in December and Kasper Schmeichel in the Leicester goal saved the penalty from Mo Salah.
So it's not a ground with any great happy memories for penalty taking, but the truth is, this is Mo Salah we're talking about, a world-class talent who probably isn't even thinking about that. Uh, complaints in the end uh, carried on too long for referee Pawson. Well, this is the team that got into the community shield by a penalty shootout. Now they could win it from the penalty spot. This team is Liverpool. Yeah, I think um, days gone by, that certainly wouldn't have been a penalty. But mm. nowadays, if your arm is out away from your body, it hits you on the arm, it's always going to be given. And to balance up the Leicester stat, he scored a couple of penalties against. Manchester City in his career, so got to be coming up to seven minutes plus stoppage time to go. Liverpool had the lead, they lost the lead, and they tried to regain the lead, and they do. Salah fires it into the bottom corner. Liverpool 2, Manchester City 1 in the closing stages of the Community Shield. And it's a very good penalty as well from Mo Salah. Edison chose the right way and probably went a fraction early. But he couldn't reach it. Right into the bottom corner. Great composure, good technique. What a chance for Liverpool to win this trophy now. Yeah, it was a very good attempt to save it. It was too good for Edison. From Salah's... Famed left foot, and the Reds are smiling again here at the King Power Stadium. And the finishing line is in sight. New deal, same player, <laughs> match winner. It seems, but it's come rather against the grain of the match at this stage. And uh, Thiago goes off, Abby Cater comes on. Trying to get the team across the line. And Manchester City, remember the 2-2 two, two draws in the Premier League. 3-2 to Liverpool at Wembley in the FA Cup semi-final. Titanic battles last season. And it's been of the same ilk here. It was Ruben Diaz who was the player who talked his way into trouble. He was the one, or maybe it was for the handball. And he got a yellow card. Ake. Elliot motoring. Maneuvered by Cancelo, Foden, Gundogan. And usually, the champions beat the FA Cup winners in the Shield, but it didn't happen last season. And the Manchester City were on the receiving end of that. It looks like Lightning might strike the same way again here. Milner, Elliott, Cater wants it. That's brought on. Maybe Cater lets fly, blocked by Ake, corner. Well, Mo Salah started the game well, he's finishing it. Well, Tim that broke past Cancelo again. That's the story of the first 15 minutes. He's linked up quite well with James Milner, he's playing at right back since coming on. using Salah as a decoy and that could have wrapped it all up and it was a, a pretty straightforward header really well, I don't think his header for the penalty was a particularly good one this one he finds that bit of space in behind Nathan Ake and in front of Haaland he's trying to go for the far post doesn't quite get enough on it he's, he's a target in the way that Haaland is 
been brought in by Manchester City as well. Different. I mean, Mane very, very good in the air. But had all sorts of other strings to his bow. I mean, of course, it's very early days, but what you have to say, since he's been on, Nunez mm. has looked more of a threat than Haaland has. I thoroughly agree with this, Jack. Yes. And uh, he's played his team into trouble. Robertson! Well, there are other options. And he was so excited about winning the ball back off Bernardo Silva. He didn't look at the options. Elliot was making a forward run. Salah was making a forward run. And he gets underneath it. Not a good finish, unfortunately, for Robertson. games played preparing for the commentary on this game Stuart did suggest that if you're looking at match legs and the intensity of playing a game like this against a fierce rival that they played more games Liverpool might be in a slightly better position have you felt that generally they've played some good football here Manchester City got themselves back in the game but a little more undercooked than yeah maybe so just not quite as sharp as they would normally be that man there Haaland missed a, that chance early on in the game or what did he play 40 minutes in Green Bay something like that that's all he played and that yeah. had a half an hour interruption between those 40 minutes with the yeah. lightning yeah. totally misjudged the flight of the ball I'm sure there's a huge amount to come from him so here's another new player of course a big hug from the manager, Fabio Cavallo, who comes from Portugal. I was going to many of the players were signed from Portugal, but Fabio Cavallo was born there, came to England when he was 13, played for England at under-18 level, but has now thrown his hat internationally into the ring with Portugal. He's their under 21 cap for them. And presumably that's the path he's going to follow. Signed from Fulham, where he had a brief taste of the Premier League before relegation the season before last. Played a massive part in Fulham's regaining Premier League status. Uh, a really outstanding season. We're hearing there might be seven added minutes. We'll find out very shortly. Well, they took a long time over the eventual Man City goal with the VAR. They took quite a bit of time with the penalty as well. And it's, uh, gone for Manchester City yet and here they come with Bernardo Silva plenty of support arriving a little clip into the middle call for Haaland Foden, Rodri there's a job to try and stop this cross Walker Bernardo Silva, Keita Liverpool a bit of breathing space, but could it come again with Alvarez and Foden? Clever footwork from him. Walker, Bernardo Silva. The decision is a corner. Yeah, and Guardiola has to make his decisions based on the players' fitness, but by taking off Kevin De Bruyne, they've just lost that attacking threat. of height on the corner, Ake and push there, but so the game goes on right round the back and here's Haaland but the ball had gone out but there's a an indication of his uh, emphatic nature in front of goal and he's a right footed sorry a left footed player but he strikes this brilliantly with his right foot, does it go out of play? yeah it certainly does no question about that being a goal. So five minutes to go. Liverpool one up at half time. Trent Alexander-Arnold, Manchester City equalising. 
a debut goal for Julian Alvarez. And then the penalty incident, which Minasala uh, converted. Okay, uh, tussle there, and then yes, since uh, he's twisted an ankle, or whether it was uh, his hand was trodden on. Yeah, he twisted his ankle. ankle twisted his ankle. Yeah. His ankle got caught underneath or in between the legs of Nathan Ake. A malicious challenge. It's a good one, in fact, by the Man City centre half. Liverpool, in fact, have got another game tomorrow at Anfield. Against, uh, after Salzburg, it's Strasbourg. So, no wonder he's given as many players as many minutes as possible here. So that the backup players will obviously fulfil the fixture tomorrow. Cramming them in, Jurgen Klopp. Complained how short the pre-season has been. I'm not complaining about the way this has gone. Nunez still full of running, despite that twisted ankle. Here's Bernardo Silva, shouts for handball from the Liverpool fans, not given. They won't want it given now because uh, Fabio Cavallio to Mo Salah, to Andrew Robertson for Nunez. What a brilliant finish. And that has finished off Manchester City. He's been a hit since he came from the bench. And the biggest blow of all to the champions comes deep, deep into stoppage time. And after 16 years, Liverpool are going to get their hands on the Community Shield. Stuart Robson. Well, you have to give credit to the player that started it all off. And that was Mo Salah down the right-hand side. It's a lovely ball played over the top. How many times have we seen Robertson get forward from that left-back position? They win the ball back there. Carvalho doesn't go past his man, sets up Mo Salah. And what a good pass this is. Inch perfect, over the top of Walker. And he still had a lot of work to do, didn't he, Nunez? Just stoops down, gets enough power on it, past Edison. What a start for him. And what a start to the season for Liverpool. No need for penalties in this one. Except the one, of course, that Salah put away to put them in front. And it's been wrapped up here. An early statement, yes, from Liverpool, but particularly from this young man. Who has been hot since Jurgen Klopp sent him on and he has made a considerable difference earning the penalty with the header that was uh, handled and scoring the goal that has Jurgen Klopp punching the air cheering the fans and here comes Curtis Jones a late change The flexibility of this particular fixture. There you have it, Stuart. 3 1. And well played, Mo Salah. Had the best of at the end of last season. And he looks in top form at the moment, revitalised, played with plenty of pace. Looking for Darwin uh, Nunez. <laughs> The way he celebrated the goal still remains on the statute book, so those who write the laws have never scored a goal. I don't know quite what it means, particularly on your debut after a massive move to the best league in the world against one of the best teams in the world. Elliot, dispossessed by Rodri. Ake. Last minute. Oh, here's Bernardo Silva. Foden, good save. Oh no, for Haaland. It would have been 3 2 like the FA Cup semi final. Was he onside? I think he was. He does well to yeah. stay on side, then he's got to finish it. Not been his day, really. He was going to be the talk of the game, but hasn't been the case. Had a chance in the first half, a couple of chances in the same move, and that was a big one for him. Really hasn't 
looked himself in yeah, the game. There will be the comparisons for the two tall, new central strikers, but the fact that Erling Haaland's been in there to miss them is always encouraging for forwards, even on a bad day. It's when you don't get any chances at all that you start to worry, or you should start to worry. And there's the man of the moment. He came on halfway through the second half. Had a 1v1 chance, which he didn't take. Liverpool, after 16 years, regained the Community Shield. And their big new signing, big in terms of cost, big in terms of size, and big in terms of contribution here, Darwin Nunez. Mo Salah wrapped in the penalty after Nunez's header was uh, deemed to have been handled. VAR playing a part as they did in the Manchester City equaliser to the first half goal from Trent Alexander-Arnold, which was a debut goal for Julian Alvarez. City seemed to be back in it, then the penalty happened, and Nunez was a bit too hot to handle Stewart. Manchester City beaten to the prize by Leicester a year ago. They're runners up again in Leicester this time. Yeah, Liverpool started the game really well. There's the man that scored the first goal with a brilliant strike into the far corner and you just thought they looked slightly more of a threat even when they were defending that little bit deeper they looked as though they could call, catch Manchester City on the counter-attack but overall it was a good game at this stage of the season excellent game it didn't go his way but it certainly did Nunez's go way so after one or two awkward moments when City equalised Liverpool have pulled away at the end and won the Community Shield against the champions by three goals to one. Well, Stuart, whether it's a pointer for what lies ahead in this great rivalry, I, I, only time will tell, but there is some one-upmanship available today, isn't there? And Liverpool have seized it. Of course there is. You can tell how much it means to the fans, how much it means to the players. When Man City got back into the game, they were celebrating as, as if it was as big a game as any other. But overall, it's one up to Liverpool. And that will certainly please Jurgen Klopp and their fans. And plenty of highlights to look back on and... Mo Salah, as you rightly said, Stuart started the game splendidly. Hit the side netting here, and he finished it splendidly as well. He goes past Cancelo, who had a mixed day. Trying to bend it into the near post didn't quite happen for him. And this is the opening goal. Just a little diversion of uh, parted Nathan Hackett's hair, really. But Trent Alexander-Arnold's goal whipped across. It's just helped on its way, wasn't it, yeah. by Nathan Aki. This was the big chance for Harland. Holds off Robertson here. Tries to pass it into the corner, doesn't quite get it right. Really good strength. And he put 90 minutes in, and it's not his best 90 minutes, but a, a huge amount. And, uh, well, this time Darwin Nunez was on and uh, causing Manchester City all sorts of bother. One in the face for Edison, but he kept it out. And also on was uh, Julian Alvarez, who via VAR got the equaliser here. Foden should have grabbed it. Possession, there might have been a foul, but the flag was up for offside way before that. But the replay that the goal should stand. Absolutely, Foden was onside, level with the defender. Adrian probably should have grabbed it there, but Alvarez was sharp. It looked as though Man City would maybe go on and win it. Liverpool, who were playing more on the counter-attack in the second half, you still have Salah, what a cross. Unlucky, Ruben Diaz, that's the way the modern game is, that will be seen as handball, and as long as the officials are consistent, Nobody's going to complain about it. Maybe Ruben Diaz at Manchester City. And Craig Pawson had a look at it. The arm was just out a bit. And uh, Darwin Nunez, who might have scored just before that, to celebrate earning the penalty. 
which gave Liverpool a chance to regain the lead. And Salah, who missed one on this ground in the Premier League last season, didn't miss this one. A good penalty. Low, hard, in the corner. Edison chose the right way, but still couldn't get there. Bottom hand, you can get a fingertip to it, but not enough to keep it out. And from that moment on, it was always going to be Liverpool's trophy. And the bonus of another very well-worked goal. Salah involved, Robertson involved, and Nunez scoring to wrap up his cameo. Well, when Salah picked the ball up, I thought he was going to try and bend it into the far corner, but he picked out that pass for Robertson. He made the right decision on this occasion just to head it back into the six-yard box. And Nunez with a very good finish. One great quality these two clubs both they share is uh, getting the recruitment right. <laughs> well, it, today it wouldn't have made any difference. It would have finished 3-2. Um, but he will get plenty of goals in the months ahead. I can guarantee that. Erling Haaland. So the setup for the presentation six years ago. Leicester got presented with the Premier League trophy here, one of the great 30 years of the Premier League at the end of last season. And if you're ever asked about the great moments of those 30 years, Leicester winning the league <laughs> will be very high on the list. But they're the host today. And uh, that's always very generous host. It's a lovely club to visit. And always uh, been very welcoming. It's also made for a very good atmosphere, mm. atmosphere inside a compact stadium. Absolutely full to capacity. Half yeah, and half. A much closer view. Obviously, another 60,000 could have got into Wembley, but you get a much, those lucky ones here you get a much more intimate view of a match like this. And it's also great for Liverpool and Man City fans who come from the north, not to have to travel all the way down to the south. Mm, yeah. Numerous occasions, which has been the case in recent years. Great atmosphere, good game as well. And Liverpool probably just about the deserved winners. We were talking, you and I, Stuart, about um, ten years ago, the Community Shield, we were there at Villa Park, which Manchester City did win against Chelsea and Eden Hazard making his uh, debut. Didn't make our cut of... Uh, I don't think he did so much in the game, but he was another debutant. But we've been talking about debutants all day in this match as well. And Nunez, yes, he's out Sean Harland today. But there's uh, a long way to go. We talked briefly at the final whistle about how much of a pointer this might be how much confidence if you were in the Liverpool ranks would you think oh, we just got a little edge on them as we go into the real stuff next week you can only take each game as it comes and mm. Liverpool have played really well today mm. you know when you play against Man City you're always worried I would say about being embarrassed by their quality on the ball and they can keep the ball and cause you all sorts of problems well that wasn't the case yes it was a fairly even game but Liverpool just were that little bit sharper in the more important areas in both penalty boxes and just about as I said deserved their victory a victory I would also suggest and by more match time in the pre-season the short pre-season that there has been compared to Manchester they mostly didn't have all their players because of the entry regulations in the USA for those two matches and it was an ideal preparation in the last match against Bayern Munich with and having to go off the field twice for half an hour on each occasion because of lightning near the stadium. The game was eventually only played for 80 minutes. There were a lot of breaks in it. And it didn't make for great fitness levels for Man City coming into this one. And what they have to live with, with the stature that they've rightly created, the pedestal that they've earned the place on. We haven't put them on it. They've been up there by... <laughs> Now people will be saying, well, Gabriel Jesus got a hat-trick for Arsenal today. Raheem Sterling is ready to go for Chelsea. And uh, you know, what, what's this new... But football evolves as in life. And <laughs> <laughs> was Jürgen Klopp signing a piece of someone's anatomy there. Um, but he's very much in demand. And these two great managers, I mean, the teams, of course it's about the players, I think. Perhaps we forget sometimes how much it is about the players and the managers do because they do the press conferences. They're there to answer our questions before and after the game. But it's about the rueful 
Erling Haaland. He would have hoped for a slightly better debut, but he's got to remember that Jack Grealish was on the losing side, the £100 million signing last year in the Community Shield on his debut. But I think he'll be hoping he has a better season than Jack Grealish did in his mm. first year at Man City. And I was surprised, actually, that Grealish was one of the players to come off because he did play much better today. The same with De Bruyne. Obviously, he was trying to rest him once they got back into the game, but they missed De Bruyne mm. uh, in that last 15 minutes or so. Is there creative spark, as we all know. He's yeah. the one that can find that final pass. It was his pass to Foden that created the goal. Oh, the South American connection. But recruitment, I touched on it in the game, the recruitment is uh, the detail you can go into to find players, but you can so easily get it wrong. There are so many players, there's so much data. But I think dear Bob Paisley was a great Liverpool manager of the past, and so you've got to see them and, and see them in action, and I'm sure that's part of the recruitment for, for both these clubs who, who have other commitments and send other people on that, that, rather than the managers out to do that analysis uh, in Russia is a, a great winner of course with uh, Liverpool Mike Somerby who uh, ever the gentleman will be gracious in defeat for his beloved Manchester City Ian Rush one of the best strikers in world football when he was playing had that partnership with Kenny Dalglish yeah, it'd be interesting to ask Ian about what he saw from the two today who have drawn so uh, much attention and will continue to do so Julian Alvarez at least has a goal to take away on his debut as of course Darwin Nunez does as well poacher's goal for Pep Guardiola and at that stage he did feel that Manchester City were perhaps beginning to pick up the momentum which would lead to them going up to get the prize. Jurgen Klopp made it clear on Thursday in his press conference the final piece in the domestic jigsaw for him. Won the Premier League, won the League Cup, won the FA Cup, but they've come second in a couple of community shields. And Manchester City have come second for two years in a row. They do take this competition very seriously. And although it has been said that when you lose it, it's not so important. <laughs> I don't think that's written over Manchester City's faces at the moment. Well, over the years we've seen there was a game where Arsenal played Chelsea and Mourinho had never lost to Arsene Wenger. They lost the Community Shield. And his team, I think, ended up 10th that season. He got the sack. You saw in that game that there were one or two problems at Chelsea. I wouldn't say that's the case with Man City, of course. They'll be so pleased with that victory today, Liverpool. Just waiting for the formalities to be completed. And the presentation accoutrements to be in place the right kind of branding initial event of course as well Craig Pawson and his uh, team of assistants first up he just had the one big decision to make didn't he Craig Pawson he didn't make it actually in the game in, in live, uh, as live but once he saw the VAR he gave the penalty against Diaz well, there's, I don't think there's any dispute, Stuart, about the validity of the two VAR calls, and it's what the game wants. And, uh, people still don't like it, some people still don't like it. Imagine if it was taken away now and we'd got that game uh, without VAR. And, of course, there's plenty of football played <laughs> without VAR at lower levels in the English game, and life goes on. But at the top, the prizes are so great that justice really has to be seen to be done with all the technological help that can be given so up go Liverpool it was a 2-1 win over Chelsea 16 years ago the last time they were in this position 
Rafa Benitez was the manager then. And beaming Jurgen Klopp now. Pep Linders, his assistant and the rest of the coaching staff. And as always, it is a team effort we focused on uh, Darwin Nunez, but the structure of the side was there. James Milner looking a bit Dickensian with the, uh, the whiskers. He actually did quite well when he came on at right back. Alexander Arnold went off. He then had a, a job to make sure that Foden didn't go past him. He did it well. You have to have a lot of medals these days. Make sure everybody is properly rewarded. Harvey Elliott's got a lot to look forward to. You feel, and Curtis Jones as well. Harvey Davis, a young goalkeeper, so still a teenager. Scouse lad. Joe Gomez still waiting in the wings. Adrian. Back in the limelight. And Thiago. Be a big cheer for the medal here for Darwin Nunez. Maybe the first of many. And maybe for Fabio Cavallo as well. Luis Diaz. Again, fresh faces. The old face. <laughs> Not in terms of years of his life, but plenty of years at Liverpool of Bobby Firmino. Virgil van Dijk. Last time it was Jamie Carragher and Steven Gerrard together who held the trophy aloft. Jamie capped in the game from the start. And uh, Steven Gerrard was a substitute early season, pre-season. Came on. And it's going to be Jordan Henderson. Liverpool winners this year of the League Cup and the FA Cup. About to get their hands on another prize. At the expense of Manchester City, it's making it sweeter still the centenary shield occasion and it's at the king power stadium here in leicester and the kings of the community shield 2022 are liverpool well they started well they finished well and they finished off Manchester City in that manner. Absolutely. But all the talk of here about Nunez came on. A couple of chances he didn't take. He won a penalty and then he scored the third goal with a very good header. He'll be the talk in all the papers tomorrow.